Welcome to Leonardtown, a small town in the heart of St. Mary's County, Maryland. This charming, walkable town is known for its beautiful landscapes, breathtaking waterways, and friendly, welcoming people. When you enter Leonardtown, you'll be transported back in time as you take in the quaint town square and historic buildings. But Leonardtown is undergoing a current renaissance of its own here in its downtown area, with the addition of an eclectic mix of specialty shops, galleries, and world-class restaurants. Our journey in discovering Leonardtown starts with a culinary tour of the fine dining experiences it has to offer. From the freshness of seafood to a mix of cultural cuisines, from Asian and Mexican to Italian and much more. Whether you're looking for an elegant, formal meal to down-home family fare, you're sure to find what you're looking for in Leonardtown. Hi, I'm Andrew Ponte. I'm a local resident of Leonardtown. I'd like to welcome you back for the second part of our culinary tour where I'll take you around town and introduce you to some of the world-class restaurants, wineries, bars and more on and around the square. No matter what you're in the mood for, from pizza and wings to seafood and more, you're sure to find it here in Leonardtown. Hi, welcome to Jesse's Kitchen. My name is Jesse, and this is my restaurant. And I am the owner, I'm the chef here. And our restaurant is a fusion restaurant. So we do all different kinds of food. We do some Asian, um, Japanese, French, Italian, uh, Middle Eastern food. Sometimes I just like to experiment with different stuff in, um, in my restaurant and also that I just like to do a different stuff than all the other restaurants in town that they're offering. And let me show you a couple of dishes that we do in here. So we're making a sea duck breast tonight and a jerk shrimp. So those two is my specialty um, in the Jesse's Kitchen. I make them time to times, and uh, which is very popular whenever I put in a special menu. So I do a demonstration, quick demonstration on that. Um, so now we go see a duck breast first. And the duck breast actually don't need to take a long time to do that because you actually can eat them a medium or like medium well. So it doesn't have to cook it all the way through. We put a little bit of oil in the pan and then make sure they're hot enough before you put the duck breast in there so they can get a crispy skin. And if you never have a duck before, duck is actually very yummy poultry. And I like them more than the chicken, and a lot of customers, they like them too. Uh, so something's unusual. So when you first, when you see the duck breast, that make sure the skin size is crispy before you turn them. So after you turn that, you can go ahead and put them in the oven, let it finish them in the oven. And take about like 10, 12 minutes. And then we can start to plate the plate on the duck. Which is, I'm going to use a little bit of asparagus and a little bit of vegetable on that. The, um, this is oyster mushroom, which is a really, um, you know, a type of uh, mushrooms are very good to roasting and they pair really well with the duck or lamb. I did roast that mushroom earlier, so I'm just going to put it in the oven and heat up a little bit and get it crispy a little bit on the outside. Same thing, I'm going to put in the oven to finish them. Now, next dish I'm going to do while the, I'm cooking the duck in the oven is a jerk shrimp. That, I'm going to pair that with the yellow rice and the black bean corn salsa.
the shrimps are very many overnight. I just put a little bit extra, you know, the dress seasonings on top. So since the shrimp cook really quick, so it doesn't take long, maybe like two minutes for each side. As soon as they turn pink, um, then you can turn them and then um, just go through a little bit and they will be, you know, you can turn off the heat, they will cook through it anyway. I'm going to put it in the oven because in the restaurant you can, you know, do some other dishes while you're cooking, you know, some dishes. So a lot of times we just leave it in the oven, let it finish in there, so we can go the, do the other dishes. Now I'm going to plate the, um, the jerk shrimp um, plate. So here's a, some seasoned yellow rice that we have. And here's some flat bean corn salsa. Now the shrimp is finished because they cook really quick, so... And we're going to plate them on top of the rice. Here's the finished jerk shrimp. And I'm going to decorate that with the cilantro. Just sprinkle them on top. And I'm going to add a little bit of purple cabbage just to give a little bit of color. Voila, this is finished product. <laughs> so now the duck is almost finished. We can take it out to check them. Beautiful colors on one side, so I'm going to get the other side a little bit more brown, so it will be, come out really, really good. So the duck is finished, we go sit, let it sit for like about a minute, let it rest before we slice them. And then I'm going to decorate it with the fennel um, font on that. And then of course before we send out, we usually put a little bit of a pepper on top. I usually do, I'm not sure every other chef is do that too. So yes, we have the duck finished products right here. Jesse's Kitchen is actually very good for any kind of occasions and you can come in like, you know, after work, have a happy hour here or you can come in have a date night, it's a very good date night restaurant and we also have this big table here, the fun table we call a lot of time we've got like 14, 15 customers just reserve this big table here and everybody just enjoy it very much and have fun in here and also we have a quiet corner if you want to be, you know leave it alone and nobody bother you we go to have some you know small table very cozy and you can enjoy your night in any occasions here during this uh, COVID-19 we definitely changed some of the way that we handle um, our restaurant the procedure stuff like that for our customer also uh, we install a couple of the hand sanitizer one by the door so just in case the customer coming in they need it and also one by the back of the restaurant we just want the customer coming in and able to feel the safety and enjoy while they come into this restaurant to um, relax. So um, Jesse's Kitchen, that um, we have a Facebook page 
and we, you also can search us in the Google um, business. So if you just want to come in to experience something different, please come into Jesse's Kitchen and we hope to see you soon. Well, that's it for today's culinary tour of Leonardtown. I hope you enjoyed this look at the amazing cuisine both on and around the square.